he reached a poor little cottage that seemed ready to fall and only remained standing. Brave soldier, never fear. Even though your death is near. Because she could not go near all these wonderful things, she longed for them all the more. I only appear to be dead. But he hasn't got anything on, a little child said. No one would allow that he could not see these much admired clothes, because, in doing so, he would have declared himself either a simpleton or unfit of his office. Push it myself. On the next day the weather was delightful, and the sun shone brightly on the green burdock. Every man's life is a fairy tale, written by God's fingers. Well, that's not easy to answer when the question is so stupidly put. I will fly to those royal birds. Most of the people who will walk after me will be children, so make the beat keep time with short steps. You have become my thinking single thought, my heart's first love, it had no love before. I love you as no love on earth is wrought, I love you now and love you evermore. My life will be the best illustration of all my work. Being born in a duckyard does not matter, if only you are hatched from a swan's egg. How large the world is. He now felt glad at having suffered sorrow and trouble, because it enabled him to enjoy so much better all the pleasure and happiness around him. Enjoy life. There's plenty of time to be dead. In the days of Moses and the prophets such a man would have been counted among the wise men of the land, in the Middle Ages he would have been burned at the stake. You're a fine one for tramping around, the bandit girl said to Kai. I'd like to know, do you really deserve to have someone run to the end of the world just for your sake? You are a dreamer, and that is your misfortune. Where words fail, music speaks. But a mermaid has no tears, and therefore she suffers so much more. Just living is not enough, said the butterfly. One must have sunshine, freedom, and a little flower. To travel is to live. Everyone's life is a fairy tale written by God's fingers. Now, if we only had as many casks of butter as there are people here, then I would eat lots of butter. I know what you want. It is very stupid of you, but you shall have your way, and it will bring you to sorrow, my pretty princess. The Sea Witch A human life is a story told by God. Life is like a beautiful melody, only the lyrics are messed up. Life itself is the most wonderful fairy tale. But these are small troubles, people will say. Yes, but they are drops which were hollows in the rock. Every man's life is a fairy tale written by God's hand. To move, to breathe, to fly, to float, to gain all while you give, to roam the roads of lands remote, to travel is to live. They made themselves comfortable. They could see she was a real princess and no question about it. Now that she had felt one peep all the way through twenty mattresses and twenty more feather beds, nobody but a princess could be so delicate. It doesn't matter if you're born in a duck yard, so long as you are hatched from a swan's egg. Cry so strange that it frightened him. There was once a king's son. Nobody had so many or such beautiful books as he had. He could read about everything which had ever happened in the world, and see it all represented in the most beautiful pictures. Autumn came, and the leaves in the forest turned to orange and gold. Then, as winter approached, the wind caught them as they fell. When we get to the end of the story, you will know more than you do now. I never dreamed of such happiness as this, while I was an ugly duckling. Death walks faster than the wind and never returns what he has taken. Never had she danced so beautifully, the sharp knives cut her feet, 
but she did not feel it, for the pain in her heart was far greater. Her tender feet felt as if cut with sharp knives, but she cared not for it, a sharper pang had pierced through her heart. If you looked down to the bottom of my soul, you would understand fully the source of my longing and pity me. Even the open, transparent lake has its unknown depths, which no divers know. When the bird of the heart begins to sing, too often will reason stop up her ears. At first she was overjoyed that he would be with her, but then she recalled that human people could not live under the water, and he could only visit her father's palace as a dead man. But shouldn't all of us on earth give the best we have to others and offer whatever is in our power? Everything you look at can become a fairy tale and you can get a story from everything you touch. I think I will sit on it a little while longer, said the duck, as I have sat so long already, a few days will be nothing. Please yourself, said the old duck, and she went away. Flew out and bit him in the neck. Let him alone, said the mother, he is not doing any harm. Yes, but he. She was so young that love was still a game to her. She was being neither fair nor clever, but Babette was only nineteen years old. To be of use to the world is the only way to be happy. The heart that one can see clearly, for the most essential things are invisible. The angel plucks a large handful of flowers, and they carry it with them up to God, where the flowers bloom more brightly than they ever did on earth. Traveling expands the mind rarely. Mermaids have no tears, and therefore they suffer more. Better than the others. I think you will grow up pretty. Yes, it is wonderful to be alive. Indeed, the bottle inwardly sang of all this, as do young poets, who frequently also know nothing about the things of which they sing. From the bottle neck. And, above all, beware of the cat. Almighty God, thee only have I, thou steerest my fate, I must give myself up to thee. Give me a livelihood. Give me a bride. My blood wants love, as my heart does. Every person's life is a fairy tale written by God's fingers. The whole world is a series of miracles, but we're so used to them we call them ordinary things. Some are created for beauty, and some for use, and there are some which one can do without altogether. A mermaid has not an immortal soul, nor can she obtain one unless she wins the love of a human being. On the power of another hangs her eternal destiny. She laughed and danced with the thought of death in her heart. Where are your sons? asked the prince. Well, it's not so easy to give an answer when you ask a stupid question, said the woman. 